madam. Mr. Fry. Ready to take the air? Devil's Acre should just be coming alive. I'm afraid I must cancel our engagement. The lawn is crawling with scandal-hunting journalists, and I simply cannot be seen in the company of someone so... I'll see them off. You follow along when it's clear. Yes, yes. Uh, be gentle, won't you? The press are notoriously touchy about any violence to their person. <laughs> I'll barely ruffle a hair on their heads. Shh, Desmond. That's yours, if you can get those chaps over there to follow me. Right you are, sir. Blimey! Look! It's Squire Bancroft! Best lead them astray before they tear me to shreds. Let's go. the way. Devil's Acre has to offer. Is your dog quite all right? Oh, Desmond's fine. He's just not over fond of strangers. Shall we press on? 
one. You know, this gentleman is a. Oh, what is it? Yes, a costermonger, of all things. Remarkable how the working classes occupy themselves. Very industrious, I'm sure. Shall we go? Gracious! I, I do Draw believe your weapons and fire! Well done, Mr. Fry. Have you considered taking employment as a parliamentary whip? Mr. Fry, look at those two. Uh, yes, they, uh, they seem to be, um... I've been married twice, Mr. Fry. I'm fully aware of what they're doing. God bless them. What sort of meat is that man selling? Best not to ask. Why? Is it something dreadful? <gasps> is it rat? I don't mean to be indelicate, given the present company, but another name for it is Bow Wow Mutton. Here we are, the old one. Mm. So this is a pint, is it? Huh? <sighs> Remarkable. <sighs> Nice doggy. Good boy, Desmond. Hand over the mutt. You'll change your tune when me and my friends find you. Now then, Desmond, to get you back to your mistress, whom I've just left entirely unattended in one of London's most dangerous pubs. told your father how you felt about him how was he supposed to know i never thought of it that way i suppose deep down we all just want to be loved just so mm. here have a sweetie oh desmond and mr fry i'd like you to meet oh i'm sorry i didn't catch your name john the tosser charmed i think we better get you home Right you are, Mr. Fry. Come along, Desmond. <laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't the dog walker. <laughs> now, let's not do something we'll regret. Who's a good horse? You are. Military adventure. 
Do you know where I might find him for a private conversation? I do indeed. He's in town now. against the corrupt practices. Perhaps we could catch him in the palace of Westminster. Do be careful. The government could ill afford another scandal. I assure you, I'll be very disappointed. Your stop, madam. My stop? <laughs> How delightful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for a splendid evening, Mr. Fry. I shall be sure to speak highly of you to Dizzy. <laughs> oh, yes. Someone help! You magnificent! What's this nonsense about needing a password to see Lord Cardigan today? Relax. I've got it in my pocket. Look sharp, men. Allow no one past unless I authorize them. Cardigan has gone too far this time. I've a mind to contact Scotland Yard myself. Come now, gentlemen. I thought us united in opposition against this perfidious law. Open bribery in the very walls of fire. 
Baby apple. Piss off. The Israeli forces are rallying in the wake of the assassination attempt, Lord Cardigan. should fall not on the gloried fields of Crimea, but to an assassin's blade in the very halls of power. Are you finished yet? Take your bow, knave, for you have managed what no Russian battery, what no Indian tiger could achieve. Claim your trophy, and may you choke on it. Yes, but do tell me more about Balaclava. Farewell. Farewell, dear Britannia! Your dawn shall be dimmer that the Earl of Cardigan sees it not. God save the Queen and the Eleventh Hussars! What a prick. Thank <laughs> you. 
Apart from the death squad on our tail, apart from that. Backup's on the way. Why are you pushing yourself so hard? It's not your job to fight Templars. I had this colleague. He was our boss's son. I didn't much care for him at the start. Everyone treated him like he was so bloody special. To me, he just wasn't invested in, in, in anything that didn't affect him personally. But I was wrong about him. He became my friend put himself through hell, and he saved us all in the end. So I reckon, well, I can't apologize to him, but I can, I don't know, I can try and live up to his example. You are a good assassin. Holy jeez! Hello. It has been too long. Galena! I mean, I have not seen you since we blew up that lab in Paris. Uh, there were many explosions, and you screamed like a baby. Bishop tells me Otzoberg is here. I will kill him for you. Super. Great news. Now, if you wouldn't mind keeping watch, I am going to lie down and die now. Rest. We have a big fight coming. Sean and Rebecca are safe for now, but we're still relying on you to find us that shroud. A letter for me?